Hi, it's Sarah again, and welcome to an MPT Community Reformer class. So far, if you've been following along with my classes, you've noticed that I've been veering towards a basic level class that has been introducing progressive repertoire. So we've played with the regressions of the progressive repertoire along with the progressions of the basic repertoire and added some variations as well. Now in today's class, we are stripping it down and we're committing to a full progressive repertoire class that is going to follow the pick system, really just minor changes to the order. So I want us to see how the system's blueprint really does work the body wholly and in this holistic manner and it's such an essential tool for us to use. All right, so let's commit to this practice for the next hour and see how it feels in our bodies at the end. Just keep in mind, please, that if there are exercises that just don't feel right in your body, please adjust accordingly and keep yourselves uh, safe in regards to your own self-mastery. All right, so I've got the um, reformer set up with the foot bar up and I'm also gonna pop on three strong springs so or three and a half springs for your leg and footwork. So let's get going. I've already done that with my revolver. Oh no, I have not. So let's do that together. Three to three and a half springs for leg and footwork. Positioning, foot bar is up, headrest is down. We're bringing ourselves onto our reformer, lying down, lying down straight away. And adjusting ourselves, giving ourselves a little bit of a moment to making sure that we are in the middle of that reformer, midline, centered, sensing the shoulders are in line with the shoulder pads and they can wiggle away a little bit as well. Heels are on the foot bar, hands beside us. Let's take a few breaths here, settle, settle the body. A breath in, take your time and a breath out. Slowing the breath, allowing your diaphragm to move, to fill the belly up, and then to exhale, letting the tummy drop, letting the chest drop. Let's just do two more diaphragmic breaths here. Again, you're welcome to count. You're welcome to close your eyes. Feel the rise of the chest and the tummy. And then the exhale, feeling how the sternum drops. And we start to squeeze that last bit of breath out. Start to find that core engagement on that exhale. This next breath you do, do, redirect the breath laterally, feeling the rib cage expand out to the sides and posteriorly. And then exhale, find that three dimensional wrap, like a corset wrapping. Can you maintain that wrap as you breathe in, into the intercostals? Letting the intercostals open the ribs and also to contract and draw them in. Last breath here. Breath in. And then exhale. We'll work just into a few imprints. Exhale. As you draw the abdominal wall away from the shorts, I want you to feel like you're scooping, allowing to the lower back to flatten. There may be a slight posterior tilt of the pelvis. And then we're returning back to your neutral spine. So the sacrum is heavy and you've got your natural curve through the spine. 
We repeat, exhale, lower abdominal to draw in, pelvic floor pulls up, inhale to return. It's a very subtle work. I want you to be really careful. It's not about that posterior tilt of the pelvis. It's as a result. So you're not trying to aim for the posterior tilt. It's a result from the imprint. So the focus isn't about squeezing the glutes to tuck the pelvis. It's working that imprint, mobilizing the spine through movement. We imprint, we pelvic curl now. So exhale, draw the abdominals in, find that scoop and proceed to peel the sacrum off, the lumbar, the mid thoracic, the thoracic. We find ourselves here up at the top of our shoulders. We take a breath in, we exhale. We let the sternum drop, let it sink. Feel the mid spine start to find the carriage, then the lower back, and lastly again the sacrum, and then the tailbone returning to neutral. Careful not to overshoot. Returning, exhale, imprint, curl it up. Peel that spine off. Strap the knees over those toes. We take a breath in. We'll curl it back down again. Hopefully with each one, we're gonna gain a little bit more mobilization and articulation through the spine. Again, exhale, imprint, curl. Peel yourself off. Careful not to let your knees part or that we're in a wide stance through the feet. You want them in line with your sitting bones. So your adductors, your inner thighs are active. Land, find neutral, take a breath in. Exhale, imprint, peel the pelvis up. You're in your last pelvic curl here. Take that breath in, collarbones are open. Find that length through your bridge position and curl it back down again. Landing the tail. Good, float one leg up to tabletop. Second leg up, squeeze the feet together. Knees slightly can be apart. Feel how those thigh bones sink into the pelvis. Inhale, we tip for our spine twist. Exhale, return. Other side, inhale, we tip. Find the obliques, careful not to overarch into our backs, return. Now I've got my hands, I'm holding onto the frame a little bit. You can do so as well. Exhale to return. And inhale for our little tip. And exhale to return. Hold here in tabletop. Bring your head and chest up, sliding the hands down the carriage to find ourselves in our chest lifted position. We'll take the hands off. We're going to pull the right knee in towards us and extend the left leg out. So you're in your single leg stretch position. Note the foot bar is up. So the leg is almost at the foot bar, but we're not resting it. So there's a little bit of a hovered sensation. Use the energy of that top knee, push it up into the hands to gain a little bit more lift through your thoracic. But watch, we keep the tailbone still down. And we go swap and swap good three and four <sighs> inhale and exhale for that leg extension let's do one more knees in feet pressed together Use the energy of the hands on top of the knees to maintain that lift. The elbows are a little bit bent to pull yourself up. Double leg stretch. Inhale. We're reaching the legs long. We're reaching the arms in line with our ears. We circle the hands and we bring back into our hug. Again, 
We inhale, we reach, we circle and exhale in to return. Two more. Hold it in. Right leg reaches up for the ceiling. Grab a hold of it. The other leg extends out long and low to the foot bar. Check that the pelvis is still square. Good. Shoulders are drawn down. You're going to give me a top pulse here. Hamstring pull. One, two, scissor change. Exhale. Inhale for your swap. Last two. Hug the knees in. Keep that chest up. Place the hands behind your head. Now, careful. Find that tabletop position. So I want you to just be really careful we haven't pulled in too far. I want that anchoring again through the pelvis. We go crisscross. You're going to hula to one side. So we'll look at the camera and we'll extend the leg out, opposite leg out long. We alternate sides. We cross over. Inhaling through center and exhaling to the other side. One more. Center through. Pull the knees in. Give yourself a little moment. And then resetting. Lovely. We should be nice and warm. All right. We're going to pop the heels on in line with our sitting bones or our issues. Setting ourselves up for our leg and footwork. Hands are beside us. Find the anchoring. And I want us to really energize already into those legs. So almost feel like you're pushing. Not almost. You are pushing, energizing into the foot bar. And you should feel all these little intrinsic muscles starting to really switch on through the legs. Right. So you're switched on. Your engine's been turned on. We're ready to go. You're going to exhale. You're going to press away and extend the legs. Now, as we pull back in, we're doing a three count. Three, two, one. We go again. We press. And three, two, one. We're going to aim for eight here. And three, two, one. Good. So maintain that real pull up through that extension with each. Press out. So you're thinking again three dimensionally when we work our legs, quads, hamstrings, adductors to keep our alignment and abductors as well. Aim for three more. You'll hear my breath along the way. You exhale to press out and that draw three, two, one. Change the footing. Come on to the metatarsal, so thinking the balls of the feet with the heels slightly elevated, maintaining that lift throughout. We press away, we pull up through the kneecaps, finding the quads. Now find the underside of the legs to draw yourself back in again. And we'll try for that same tempo. Press away and three, two, one. We press three, two, one. We press. Now again, I'm keeping my head rest down. But if you find that your alignment is a little bit better for your cervical with the headrest propped up a little bit, then please do so. Pelvis is remaining neutral. Lumbar, spine, all in neutral, but super stable. Last one. We pull in. You're going to squeeze those heels together in our turned out position, finding those deep lateral rotators. Careful not to overdo it. I want the adductors still stabilizing you as well. Press away. Keep that squeeze and zip up happening. And we draw back in again. And press. And three, two, one. Pulling up, so zipping up, and drawing back in again. And three, two, one. Let's go for another four. And last 
last one. Draw it in. Good. Now let's change it up. We're going to go wide heels. So the knees are parted. We've found a spiraling through the femur, finding that wrap and anchoring. Okay, find the foot bar, energize, turn that engine on, right? You want to anchor up, find the stabilizers ready to go, pushing through, find the feet along with the legs, draw it back in again. Good, we're going to go for that tempo, three, two, one, and press away. And three, two, one, press away. Down. Beautiful, we've got three more here. And lovely. All right. Back to the balls of the feet, still in that turned out position, heels slightly elevated, maintaining that lift, energizing through those legs, finding the foot bar, finding the feet, pressing against the foot bar. We press away. We draw back in nice and slowly. Press and three, two, one. Be very careful as you press away that the ankles don't roll out. I want you to find a little bit more pressure, if they are, a little bit more pressure on the underside of your big foot. So think the ball of your big toe. Good. Another four. And slow pulling. And three. Two. And last one, pulling all the way back in. Toes back to parallel stance. We press away. So we'll check in that we've got that lovely alignment. We've got to pull up through those knees. Fine, almost feel like you're pushing the back of your thighs back down into the carriage. Draw the heels underneath and press up. I'm going to go slow again. So we're working in. Control and press up. I'm oh, trying to find that full range through our ankles whilst maintaining alignment. Good. Let's aim for another three. Good. We're watching for any bouncing, so we don't want to just drop and bounce. It's not a stretch. I want you to really think, even though those cards are lengthening, they are working hard and they're in control of this movement. I believe that's your last one. You're going to draw up again. We're going to finish with 20 prances. Good. Enjoy. The tempo can pick up. However, as that tempo picks up, we're finding stability still in the pelvis. Double checking that those alignment of those knees are pointing right up to the ceiling. They're not popping off to the sides or crossing paths. Love it. Pull up and draw it back in again. We're going to switch springs. We're going to pop ourselves up. Now, please, I want you to adjust to a, some single leg work. So that probably will be two and a half to two springs. And we're going to pop ourselves back down again, setting ourselves up onto that carriage again. And I'm going to have the toes. So thinking uh, balls of the feet, sitting bones in line with those heels, hands beside us, heels slightly elevated. And we're going to float the right leg up to tabletop. And we're moving straight into your single leg progression. So you're going to press away. And at the same time as you press away, you're going to extend the leg, pointing the foot. Pull yourself back in again. We go again. So try and keep the thigh bone here nice and still and the pelvis in neutral. 
So really anchoring through the tailbone. If you find hamstrings are a little bit tight, then we may need to lower that leg down a little bit. Good. So we're going to aim for eight here. Good, that working leg as well is nicely in line. Watching for any sort of dancing knees. Love it, we're gonna add a little bit more. Here's your calf press, lower the heel underneath the foot bar and the top foot as well, flexes. So they're both flexed. And then you're going to point through those feet and you're gonna draw yourself back in again. So extending out, dorsiflex. Planter and then draw it back in again. And out. Flex. Oh, hello, calves. And pull it back in again. We've got four more. We're aiming for our eight again. Draw it under. Draw it up. Good. And. Ooh, last one. These are getting quite spicy for my calves. Ooh, right, and pull it back in again. Let's swap over. Make sure the foot alignment is centered into the sitting bone. Our leg comes up. We point, we're going eight progressions straight away. We push out, we draw back in again with that control. So again, we're not riding the spring. We're almost resisting the spring as we come back in to our stopper. Good, another four. And three. Good, make sure you've got that full range of extension through both legs. Last one. Pull back in again, let's add. Press away and aren't you out there? Flex through the ankles. Point. Draw it back in again. We've got a few of these. Here we go. Flex. Point. And in. Uh, and two more. Oh. Last one here. Draw it back in again. And bringing the legs down, give them a little bit of a shake out. All right, changing the spring load again. We are moving into our abdominals. Then, of course, legs and straps and spinal articulation. So what I want to do is hopefully stay on the one and a half springs throughout all three of these categories uh, just uh, for smooth transitions. Now, of course, you are welcome to always adjust that spring load as you go along. I'm going to go for one and a half for my abdominals. And again, we can always drop it down to one spring as well. So we're coming back. On, popping the hands through the straps. We're gonna set our positions up. So I'm gonna wiggle a little bit away from my shoulder pads so I'm not sort of jammed up in them. And I'm gonna find my arms first. So I'm gonna press into the straps and hold them in line, in line with my shoulders. My collarbones are broad, but I'm watching I haven't popped my chest. So I want my rib cage to sink a little bit more towards the carriage. Now that we've set up, you should really feel your serratus here really wrapping and engaging already. Bring one leg up, stabilize. Exhale, bring the second leg up. Bring the feet together. We move straight into your 100 regression. Exhale, lifting up through that thoracic flexion. And then we're going to draw it back in again. Keeping the pelvis and the legs anchored, whereas the spine creates flexion from the top side, the pelvis remains anchored and neutral.
Good. We should be getting quite toasty already. Exhale up. Inhale down. One more. Proceed onwards, hundreds, progression. So we're going to add the legs. Here we go. And exhale, reach it long, reach those fingertips, extend the legs, pull yourself back in again. Again. I almost want to feel this counter movement of the legs pulling away from your body at the same time your abdominals are pulling up and towards you. And... Shall we aim for two more? Here we go. Now bring it in. We're going straight into coordination. No resting here. And exhale, extend, hold. Open the legs up just a carriage width. Squeeze them back in again. Pull the knees in. And then lower yourself down again. Here we go. Exhale. Open, close, knees, inhale to draw it back to home. And lots happening on that exhale. Keep exhaling, knees come in, and now inhale. Two more. And Draw it in, Ooh, and we can bring the legs down for a brief rest. Now, if you are on one and a half, then stay there. Otherwise, adjust and pop it on one and a half. We're moving into legs and straps. Okay, pressing away, popping one foot in, stabilizing into the strap, bringing the second leg in, or foot in. Making sure we're nice and square on that carriage hands are beside us there's a turnout here a wrapping sensation a spiraling sensation into the pelvis and an anchoring give yourself a moment to breathe and then exhale let yourself settle we move into frogs on the next exhale we press away and we draw back in again. Good, you've got to find your feet in your straps. So again, you're being careful about the straps not overtaking you. You find the opposing energy as you draw in. Let's just do three more here. And three. And two. Legs squeezing, so you're gonna, the heels are squeezing together. So you wanna maintain that real adductor zip up with each one. There we go. Now I'm gonna get you to press those legs out. You're gonna hold it out there. Bring the legs up. Good, and we're gonna go to where we can. And that's absolutely personal regarding hamstring length versus a neutral pelvis. So stability versus that mobility through the hamstrings. Hold here. Here we go. We're going to press down. We're moving into circles. You're going to separate and bring it back up for the top. Squeeze the legs. Press and around. Exhale as you press down. Inhale. Back up. Good, four more. Good, reverse your circles. So we separate, we exhale, press down and squeeze together. The reverse pattern I find 
It is a little bit trickier, particularly on the press down because it becomes an open chain. And you really want to work those legs evenly. Notice whether or not one leg wants to circle larger than the other. Number four. And three. Love it. Stay low. Open knees. Inhale to open. Exhale to squeeze. Good. Find a connection for the core for that squeeze. And that inhale. We still want to contain that controlment. Number three. Last one, squeeze it together, hold that squeeze, bend the legs back into your rug position. We're gonna move into a short spine prep. I just want two of these, we're just warming up so that we can get into that short spine. Check, headrest is down, all right, make sure of that. Here we go, little tails are anchored, we start with your frog, we press away. We lift the legs. Now naturally, once we get to a point here, the pelvis will posteriorly tilt. It will peel off your carriage to get to the stopper. Then you're going to bend your knees and arc the feet back using the abdominals and the hip extensors to set yourself back up to your start position. We go again. Exhale, press away. Inhale, we fold over. We bend the knees and then roll the pelvis back into your frog good that's your two hopefully that's feeling good in your body you're always welcome to continue doing these instead of doing the short spine until we're ready we're going to press away we're going to inhale take the legs with us again so let the straps draw the legs over you let the pelvis lift we're going to now roll all the way up to the shoulders this time Good, now find that lifted pelvis position. We're going to bend the knees in line with the shoulders so they're not too wide here. And at the same time as you're drawing the heels in towards you, those ischials, those sitting bones are still lifting up high off the, off the rib cage. Now we roll back. You're gonna sink from the sternum. You're gonna articulate through that spine. And you're gonna engage into those hamstrings to draw yourself back down and in line we go again exhale press away inhale fold over exhale we roll up breath in to find that reverse or that little upside down frog lifting the pelvis off that rib cage watch for any slackening of those straps you want engagement we roll away and then start to arc the feet with you. Land back, repeat. We press. And. Roll it through, arc the feet. Let's do one more and Press on the exhale. Fold it over to the stoppers. Now find the energy, the lift up. Find the hip extensors, the shoulder complex. And now we bend. Start to roll away. Peeling away. Find the engagement in the straps as you arc the feet with you and we return beautiful all right keeping that pelvis anchored we'll bring the legs out and we'll have a little adductor stretch enjoy we're going to go for about three to four breaths
Good, and in your own time, you can bring those legs together, bend, and we'll take one strap off, fun football. Bring the second foot off, or strap off, and pop them back on your pegs. All right, turning around, we're gonna pop ourselves up. We are coming into a kneeling position, slight change here in order of our categories. We're moving into some arm work. So I'm gonna get my toes to hook around the carriage. And so they are anchoring, they're wrapping securely. We're gonna take our straps and I'm gonna get ourselves to, oh, change the spring. <laughs> <laughs> all right so i want one spring we are moving into chest expansion all right so i want one spring on all right coming back to that position wrap those toes underneath that carriage sit back make sure you're centered on that carriage and then you're going to pull yourself in until you are holding above your straps here above the buckles setting up here now i want you to be really mindful about coming up to kneeling i want your hip extensors and your abdominals to lift you up so we're stabilizing as we come up because if they're not on we're going to be wobbly so think about abs and those hip extensors wrapping drawing now we're ready chest expansion you're going to take a breath in you're going to pull into your lap pull you're going to hold, you're going to rotate the head one direction, rotate the head the other direction, square the head, bring the arms forwards, but maintain that connection throughout the body. Here we go. And inhale, draw in. I want you now to look the opposite direction to what you started off with. Other side, return, slowly release on your exhale. Inhale, pull. We look one way, we look the other, center, return. So yes, there's a lot going on here. We lap pull, my hamstrings are really holding me on like pillars, center. We have one more set to do, Whoop, I've lost my form. Tummy up, find the hips, extensors, good. I have a tendency of leaning backwards, so I'm just checking in on myself right now Make sure my ribs are really stacked over my pelvis. We pull again. We look one way. We look the other. Center. Return. Control that return. Last time. Inhale. Draw it back. One. Two. Center. Return. Sitting back. Placing the straps back. Moving into our hip flexion, we're gonna just bring ourselves forwards. We should still be on one spring. However, we can always drop down to half a spring for this next exercise. We are in reverse kneeling. Hands are coming forwards onto the wooden frame or onto your frame. Just be a little bit mindful of your thumbs. I always sort of want to lift them up or keep them up on top. Now, give me a real solid quadruped position so the back of the head is pressing up that beautiful elongation through the spine good and now we're moving into that reverse knee stretch so you're going to give me an exhale and at the same time simultaneously i want you to imprint through the abdominal so think lower imprint of that lumbar whilst the hip flexors wrap and draw the carriage in and then we're gonna release back to our start carefully. We go again. And whilst you're doing this, you should be really careful that you don't sit down to do the work. All right, I want you to feel like there's a puppet string attached to your lower back. And that puppet string is pulling you up to the ceiling. And Good, can we aim for another three? Here we go. And carefully drawing yourself back into the stoppers. Give yourself a little rest position briefly. Deep breath in. 
and we're going to bring ourselves around. We're going to add a spring here, make it one and a half. And we're going to stand up, make sure you're holding onto the foot bar so it's nice and safe. Lift the heels up three quarters of the way of your shoulder pad. And we're going to find what I call a little bit of a, an A-frame. So you're going to just watch, you haven't sort of dropped into a stretch here. I want you to think about that sternum pressing up a little bit. And so that we've got this real solid wrap around the arms and that energy of like the arms and the legs being pillars here. Good. The head hopefully is in one line with the neck. My head pops up a little bit because I like to talk, but head in line. Think about drawing the chin in so the back of the head is pressing up a little bit. And we're moving into upstretch one. So it's a slight push away and then exhale to imprint and draw in. Little push and draw in. I'll do a little bit of clarity here. I want you to think about hip dissociation here and think about the abdominals really drawing in to pull the carriage in. It's subtle work, it's not a big movement. It's a little push away and it's a draw back in again. Two more. Good, feeling good here. Let's continue, upstretch version number two coming up. So here we're gonna pivot not only around the hips, but also the shoulders. When you're ready, inhale, press out. Think of your plank position or your front support. Good, the heels are pressing into the shoulder pads. Now, as you take an exhale, pull the carriage back in again, hinging at the hips. Good, again, re-engage those shoulders, press that chest up a little bit. Here we go, in, press it away. And let's do a few more. And so as you press out into that front support, really think that your spine, your pelvis is one neutral position. And then as it pulls you back up again, that pivot mechanism, draw it up. Good. Let's aim for another three. There's a lot of power happening in the, in the shoulder complex. Think of your serratus really wrapping underneath those armpits. All right, I'm sure you've already done one ahead of me. So I'm just going to do another two. Draw it in. And there's that front support, neutral, long through the crown, all the way to the heels and pivot back up again drop the heels down we're moving into elephant so again with the heels down you will find that your weight shifts into the legs a lot more they become like pillars and really anchor the heels now give me a little bit of an wrap through the lower abdominals so think up now we're ready give me that little press out and then exhale in Good. If you are feeling a little bit limited due to your hamstrings regarding the elephant, then please adjust with a little bit of a bent knee until we work towards that straight leg. And again, we're also going back to that real subtle move. It's not a big dramatic movement, but it is mighty and powerful in its manner, finding those abs. Let's go for two more. Careful, walk yourself in, bring yourself down. Bring the foot bar down. One spring. Moving into skating prep, we're gonna stand on top of the platform, the stable part of the carriage, oh sorry, stable part of your reformer first. Before we step up, and pop the other foot onto the carriage. Feet are in line, remotely quite close to the edge. Hands on the hips, a little bend of the knees. So you're imagining you're sliding down a wall. So careful, it's not a hip hinge. Keep the torso upright. So if you were to see me side on, I would still be very much in neutral. My rib cage and my stacked on top of my pelvis here. 
Good. All right. Keep yourself centered. Disassociate the movement into your abductor work. You're going to press that hold. Now feel like almost you're wrapping to pull back in again. Press out, hold, really pull up for the kneecap. Bring it in and press. Good. And so we're going to do another four. We're also going to be focusing on the still leg, the one that's on the platform. We're watching as we don't push out, we don't crumble away. I want you to feel like you're pushing out a little bit through the abductor on this leg as well. And you have one more. Press and wrap to pull yourself back in again. Standing up tall, carriage leg steps back, coming around. Got a bit of a tight squeeze coming through. All right, now we're going to step up back onto that platform. We've got the other leg to do. So setting up nicely. Now, careful again. I want to just re, um, redirect some foot here into the foot, foot placement, not only on the edge, but I want you to feel like as you come on down into your start position, that your knees are tracking over your center and third toe but the arches are really engaged in lifting up as well. Here we go, we got eight, we press out, we pull it back in again. And eye gaze hopefully straight forwards, an indicator as well that the head is then on top of our rib cage. Nice and control, good. Another four. Staying really anchored and secure on the platform leg. And two. And one. Wrap it in. And coming up for standing. Good, carefully stepping back. Ooh, let's get our boxes. All right, we're going short box. And pop all of your springs on, please. Nice and securely. We're going to pop on up onto our short box. Nicely centered. Foot strap over the feet. And find that energy in those straps as well. So I want the legs a little bit apart. And really firing up a little bit through those legs. Okay. More forwards of the box, genie. Crossing the hands over, let's go for a bit of a, what I call a low genie. So we're just gonna lower those arms down again, allowing the collarbones to open up. Exhale, imprint the abdominals, tuck the tail under, keep that formation, keep drawing under as we roll through our genie. We stay there, we take a breath in. And think abs pull you backwards as you come forwards. And then we stack up tall. We go again, exhale. We're going back, shoulders are down. Breath in, roll it forward. And stacking up. Legs are still engaged, we're rolling forwards. Finding that imprint, remaining that imprint. Now stack up tall, no sitting bones. Let's do two more. Exhale. Again, lower abs, wrap under. Feel that scoop under. Roll it through. Find your base, take a breath in. Exhale, roll it forward. Good, last time. and stacking up the lat for pop the hands behind our head press the back of the head into the hands elbows are nice and broad but we're just watching for eliminating that extension so i just want us to again take two breaths and find that lateral breath 
And particularly on that exhale, think about the base of your breastplate dropping a little bit. Good. Okay, on the next inhale, we lean back like a little tipping plank. And exhale up. This is the one that we get a little bit shaky on. All right. Find that elongation through the spine. Careful that we don't dive backwards. Again, inhale. And exhale. Good. A few more of these. Find your eye gaze at the front of your wall. And as you start to lean back, find how it travels up the wall. So the head is still part of the alignment of the spine and then returns. Good, can we do two more? And. Good, we're onwards to twist. We're gonna spiral through the spine first for rotation in an upright position. We're going to tip, now careful, I've mentioned it in previous classes, not to come into that lateral bend. So I want you to think about leaning back in a long straight line, letting the other leg anchor out nice and long, and then wrap it back in home. Twist, reach for that far corner, Find that psoas engagement, that length inside, and draw it back in again. And two more. Here we go. Good. Good, you might have one side that's a little bit trickier than the other. Good, finding that alignment, same space between the ribs and the hip bone. Oh, and coming down. All right, release the strap. Coming off your little box, let's go long box. Straight into extension. So again, one spring, please. So taking a few springs off, making sure that box is nicely on. We're coming down onto our tummies. That's not square. There we go. Cats will be off. Legs will be together. Taking the straps off, holding above the buckles, letting the head come down. First and foremost, we're going to find our setup here. So find your legs. Find the energy of keeping them straight. And now use your hip extensors, so think hamstring origins and lower glute fibers to float the thighs up. Here we go. We're gonna draw with an exhale, pulling the straps and we're gonna lift up beyond neutral to a little bit of that thoracic extension, not too high, be careful here. Lower it back down again. We go again. So think thoracic extension, so careful, you want the lumbar still very much in neutral, the tailbone growing long. Watching that the tail doesn't lift up towards the ceiling again. Good, another three. And two. This last one will be a transition. Exhale, come up to that gorgeous elongated line. Hold, open the arms out to a T with the palms facing down. Legs are still switched on. Here we go, in and exhale. Draw the fist in towards the thighs. Keep the palms still facing the floor. Return, T position again.
<laughs> Can we aim for four more? Check in that the abdominals are still wrapping and pulling up and away from the box. I believe this is our last one to pull in. And then you're going to sweep the knuckles down as you lower the torso down. Pop the straps back. Oh, oh. Come off your box. We're going into our, our back stroke. So, taking the straps on again. <laughs> it's a bit silly of me. All right. Holding on to those straps. We're going to have a little bit of a sit down. I'm going to change this. Let's bring the foot bar up. I find it a little bit easier, particularly if we find the backstroke challenging, that um, to assist a little bit with the foot bar. Now, mind you, backstroke does have one and a half to two spring load uh, to work in. So again, adjust accordingly. We may need to be working up towards that um, as, as we go. So, all right, let's pop ourselves down again. <laughs> Scoot ourselves around and then just pull yourself away a little bit and then grab onto the straps. Hold onto the edges of your box, scoot your bottom down, bring your feet up onto the foot bar. And then lay yourself down so the edges of your scapulas are to the edge of the box. Now with the feet still down, I want you to come up into a chest lifted position, fists together, elbows bent, like you're trying to look for a little window that is your arms. Now keep that tension in those arms, settle the shoulders, find the serratus to wrap, float one leg up, second leg up. We are in our start position. Okay, we're going to reach the arms and legs up perpendicular. We're going to open them slightly to carriage width apart. And then we're going to circle them around the low, hold, and then draw it back in again. We go again, breathe in. And Good, let's try for one more. Here we go. Up, separate, press, find that deep hundred position and pull it back in again. Oh, carefully. Popping the feet down, popping yourself off your box. We are almost there. Let's take the box away. Finish with a lunge stretch. All right, I'm gonna keep the spring that I have on, which is one and a half. I'm gonna pop my feet up against the shoulder pad, toes tucked under, one leg coming up to the foot bar. Think of the ball of the foot, kind of relatively in line with our pelvis. There we go. All right, keep that torso nice and upright. We're gonna push the carriage away slightly. Find that stretch and hold. But it's not a big push away, just a few inches. And we'll take about three breaths here. Keep the leg, the backward, the back leg as is. And then you're going to push away with your front leg, allowing the heel to wrap underneath and find that extension through that hamstring stretch. And as you'll hear, think about that leg pulling back in, the front leg pulling back into the pelvis so the hips are squaring up. And there's about three breaths here. And you're going to pull it back in again. And then just push away slightly into that hip flexor stretch again. Some deep breaths here. Settling our breath. Pressing away through the front leg, 
wrap the heel underneath the foot bar, draw it back into its pelvis, hold here. Pull it back in again. Up, 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 up. We swap. All right, finding our alignment for the front leg. Setting up here. And we just push away slightly. We hold. Might notice one side a little bit tighter than the other side. This is definitely tighter for me. Again, if you do have a little bit of a niggle through the front knee, you're always welcome to bring that foot down to the platform instead. And then we press away with the front leg, keeping those hips nice and square. And then pull in with the front leg back to the lunge position we hold here again. And pressing away. Last breath. And then draw yourself back in again. Tucking the foot down. Oh, coming off. Spine our legs a little bit. Settle in. Feet are nice and parallel, hands beside our bodies. Find a lift through the legs, find a lift through the torso. We do one roll down, chin to chest. Rolling through that thoracic, drawing the abdominals in as we roll forward. Let the arms dangle, let the head dangle. Find ourselves here at the base, we take a breath in. As you exhale, can you retract the arms back into their sockets and abs pull you up, wind the sitting bones underneath you. Stand tall on your legs, feel the energy of the floor, push it away. Rib cage comes over the pelvis, collarbones are open. Last breath in. And exhale. Well done. All right. There you have it, working through the full progressive repertoire. Um, obviously there was a few exercises there missing um, due to just the flow of the class, but all the exercises here were very challenging. Um, and, um, and I hope you just enjoyed just having that lovely order and that precision and just feeling really worked for that whole body. So I will see you in, in the next class, bye.